Hi, let's start with the controller setup. I'm using a PS4 controller with a DS4 Windows program, which allows you to set up custom key functions on your joystick. Respect to the creators of DS4 Windows, by the way, a really dope program. I'm also using a Bluetooth adapter to be able to sit back on my sofa and play RuneScape happily and comfortably. The R1 is for escape, the R2 is for surge, L1 is for deflect magic, L2 is for soul split. So basically the R side is for dealing with the slam mechanic and the L side is for my prayer flicking. Down arrow is for needle strike, left arrow is for snapshot, up is for rapid fire, right is for my essence of finality spec, which is the dark boss spec. I move the mouse with my left analog, clicking the left analog activates devotion. The right stick is for the camera movement and clicking it activates anticipation. X is for left click, circle is for right click. Triangle is not set for now, I'm still thinking on what would be the best thing. I'm thinking of fragmentation shot though. Now this is the most crucial part of the whole method. Square is set for piercing shot. Piercing shot is the weakest ability in the game. But I use it because sometimes I move or surge and I want my character to instantly start attacking afterwards. The best ability to rely on is piercing shot. Sometimes even need to strike might be on cooldown. And I just want to have a reliable ability to always activate, to turn my focus on care back and keep attacking. Plus, this is for the golden old school PlayStation 2 days, but back then square was the attack button in most games. And I decided to continue the tradition here because it works in every way and it's nostalgic. Let's get to the kill and I'll talk you through it. Alright, so let's start with the basics. You gotta drink your pots, you know, elder, renewal, weapon poison, activate your prayers, anguish, deflect magic. I'm gonna surge and then devotion because I'm still not a combat with Karapak, so it's gonna I activate, but it's not gonna reduce my Adri, so. The first threshold is gonna be snapshot. Because before Death Swiftness ends, I'm gonna have snapshot again and I can activate it with my Essence of Finality spec actually, which is a really powerful combo. Like at the last three seconds, I'll activate them. This is 5 seconds, 4 seconds, I'm going to activate Snapshot now. And my Essence of Fantasy switched to Soul Split. I'm going to get some healing and do mad damage. That was like around 17k. Like I said in my last video in the guide, that if you surge, you have to activate an ability to keep attacking. That's why I use Piercing Shot in this case. And we're going to phase him easily. Like sometimes at the start of the second or the third phase is when I activate my Ritual Shard or Enhance Excalibur. Wait for the third one, activate Anticipation. Ah, like at the second or the third attack before the mechanic, I activate Anticipation. First thing is Rapid Fire, by the way. At around two seconds, Snapshot, Need a Strike, and then Essence of Finality. Once you snap back in time, Rapid Fire instantly. Because you gotta get the most out of it before he starts the slam mechanic. During the slam mechanic, you cannot activate rapid fire. You can, but you're not gonna get the most out of it. It's gonna be useless. But during the mechanic, you can activate snapshot, essence of finality spec. It's gonna be beautiful. Everything is gonna be fine. So if you're gonna like use a threshold after warp time, the first like once you snap back, the first one you have to use is rapid fire. Highly recommended. The time threads have split. I'm gonna activate and dissipate now. Move to the side. The fight requires very, very little movement. Most of the movements from my R1 and R2, which is surge and escape. Essence of finality spec, and once we snap back, rapid fire before he starts the jumping slam mechanic. Get the most out of it, escape and keep attack and just keep going at him. And obviously you see my clicks do not match with my timing exactly and that's because of the ping. I'm in the Middle East, we have like the least ping we get is like 110 so we have to act beforehand you know like we gotta be early with the reactions or very quick. Obviously we're gonna do the usual, the one that I talked about in the guide, which is Devotion, Rapid Fire, and Essence of Finality, the combo. It's a really powerful combo. Sometimes without it, you just kill him, without doing the combo. 
Yeah, at like around 10 or 14k HP, that's when I activate my SSO finality spec. Because it deals tons of damage. Sometimes it can deal up to like 20k. It's gonna just cap every hit. And yeah, so that's basically it. That's the kill with the joystick. That's how you go with it. Here's what I would say though. I would say have a plan for the fight. That's look, that's RuneScape in general, man. Just have a plan when you go into a fight. Plan out your abilities, your actions, everything. How you deal with the mechanic, when do you activate certain abilities and all that. Having a plan before going into a fight is really good. Like it's the RuneScape is so strategic right now. It's very strategic. And having a plan is going to be really useful because the fights are very sequenced and to have a plan to like how to deal with that sequence or when this comes up and all that so like almost every kill is going to be as organized as the one you just saw it's just a matter of practicality with the joystick i just thought like if i show you a footage of my first attempts with the joystick i was doing really fucking bad because it's my first now it's almost as good as me with the mouse and a keyboard and that's basically it yeah i'll see you in the next one cheers